Tech Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. Medicast is, uh, we liken it to Uber for healthcare. So it's a service that connects patients with physicians on demand so they could receive high quality, compassionate care in the comfort of their own home, hotel, office, um, and whatnot. So we're really trying to cut out a lot of the challenges um, and frustration that comes with typical healthcare as you think about it. Scheduling appointments, sitting in a nasty crowded waiting room, and then seeing the doctor in and out for 30 seconds. We're changing that and kind of bringing the care and compassion back to healthcare. It's one of those things that people are um, really frustrated about going to doctor's offices. So people actually use this home care as a way to actually see a doctor because a lot of people just don't like the experience of going out. Um, but also it's kind of the wave of the future, we think. You know, people are kind of going old school in this mentality of the physicians coming back to you um, because it allows them to spend time with you. It allows them to get to know you better and really helps deliver a better, um, you know, better service end to end. It's really surprising because a lot of physicians are burning out. You know, these guys who go and they see 30, 40 patients a day in this doctor factory, patient factory, they're really getting tired of it. And a lot of the physicians are kind of going back to the traditional model of seeing less patients, maybe at a premium. So every physician we've talked to has been really excited by it, especially the younger physicians, the ones who are fresh out of medical school, have been in the game for maybe a couple of years, who went to medical school for the real um, concept of delivering compassionate care. They love the fact that they can do this, set their own schedule, see however many people or as little people as they want. Um, and the fact is it's much more lucrative than actually working in a, a typical practice. We're launching in our first target market, which is South Florida, um, because we understand the regulations there and we're scaling out. Um, once we've done a full legal review, we've gotten some of the uh, physicians on board and we've identified if there are any sort of uh, issues that may come out. So we're kind of taking a, a slow and agile approach at it. Um, but the thing is, we haven't really run into any, any hurdles that would prevent us from, uh, from doing this. Uh, if you had asked me this question a year ago, I would have told you that the big disadvantage is that Atlanta is not really known as a startup hub. Just over the past few months, we've seen a proliferation of activities from um, you know, the launch of Startup Georgia as part of the Startup America uh, uh, group. And we've seen a lot of different activities going on in terms of help, helping entrepreneurs, helping bring investment in, and really fostering the growth and, and the community that exists. So I think the big challenge is the fact that um, it's growing a lot faster than we can keep up with. But it's, we're starting to see a slowdown in terms of the number of uh, talent drain that people are leaving. We're starting to see more people actually coming in because of the cost of living, um, access to large Fortune 500s, the fact that we have the world's busiest airport. So it's a really great place to be. Um, and I encourage all entrepreneurs to actually consider it just because we do have such a great community of experts in a lot of different subject matter areas who are willing to help out and, um, and grow the ecosystem.